everyone. I hope am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Okay, just let me just can you share screen. your screen? Yes, sir. Are you able to see my screen, sir? Yes, it's visible. So, first of all, thanks ICI to give me this opportunity. Uh, what I am going to do, I am going to launch a pen verification engine in only in Excel. Now I'm not going to use any kind of software uh, like Spectrum and all. Now I will also tell you what is the use of it and, and where else uh, we, we can use it. For example, let's say talk about GST. Uh, we generally got a GST number from the customer. We don't know whether it is a regular, whether, whether it is a comp uh, composite supply. So uh, if, 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 if there would be composite supply, we, we would not get, get any input. Uh, similarly, in, that, in case of pen number, what we have, we can simply check the pen. Uh, we can we can't check the pen num uh, name of the that pen number. Let's say if we have one thousand pen numbers and let's say uh, we have uh, let's say ten pen numbers only. How we will check the name of that pen number and how we will check whether it is linked to your Aadhaar or not? So we are going to uh, check uh, that thing using traces, but uh, traces allow you to give uh, that feature only by one by one. Uh, if I'm not wrong, so basically. What I have done, I have simply uh, used up a single prompt to automate each and everything. And I have created this Excel uh, where I will, what I will do, I will simply type my, my all the pen numbers, uh, whether it is 1000, 10, one, and the 100, whatever uh, number you have. Now what it will do, it will generate all the name, upload it on the income tax portal, which uh, uh, which is uh, means this feature is not uh, available on income tax portal directly. But still, I'm going to use AI model for this. And now I'm going to check whether the link, uh, whether the Aadhaar card is linked or, uh, or not. So uh, what I have done, I have simply write a prompt over here. And you can see the prompt is here. I'm going to simply use three tools over here. First is VBA. Second is Selenium. And third is Chrome driver. Now, what I, why I am using uh, Selenium and Chrome driver uh, in it? Selenium allow you to uh, deal with the Chrome. Uh, let's say if you are using the Microsoft Edge, so you can ask the chat GPT, uh, uh, use Selenium uh, for the Microsoft Edge. So uh, here, I, here is the prompt. Uh, what I want, I want, uh, I want a VBA macro code, obviously. Where I will go, I will go on the Traces website. And what you need to do, you need to simply launch the Chrome and open the Traces portal. And where is the login credential? Credential is this one. Uh, username is on the cell H2, password is on the cell H3, and 10 is on the H4. And you can see here, I already did that, that thing. I, I can't show you because of the ethics, uh, all the things. Now, and uh, 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 the next thing I'm, I'm telling you to chat GPT, pause for the manual capture. If, if there is a manual capture like GST and all, so you need to pause for it, let's say 5, 10 seconds. And what you need to do, you need to simply loop for the pen number. Let's say if you are uh, asking for the multiple GST number, so you need to again loop for those GST numbers. Now I have uh, used the line click double. Let's say uh, sometimes uh, uh, in one click report uh, it, uh, means a login is not going to happen. So what I have used, I have simply uh, used a click double. And here I am using one line, just make the necessary ad uh, adjustment in uh, uh, error handling and selenium that's it so here is the prompt and what i have done i have simply copied this prompt on the chat gpt and you can see the prompt is over here only and i'm using the paid version of chat gpt right now and simply uh, you can see here is the code and here it is what i have done i have uh, copied all the uh, means i need to unlock it why have why i have logged it because uh, i am using this module in my office also and you can see the uh, code is over here and uh, you can even check the code even I, I, I will copy and paste and later on if you want to. So simply uh, close this. And I have uh, inserted uh, this pen verification uh, uh, tools over here. What, what you can do to insert this, simply go to insert tab and let's say if you want to uh, insert and uh, this, this thing, so you can insert any shape. Let's say if you want to uh, insert this, so you can simply click uh, make a box, right click on it and uh, assign a metro. Let's say here it is, uh, and okay. Now, if, if I will click on it, it is going to uh, uh, do the same thing as uh, this button is doing right now. So I'm simply clicking on it or here, pen verification. And you can see traces portal has uh, already been uh, opened and uh, already ID and password is there. Now I, I need to simply enter the capture code. Now choice is mine whether I need to click on this login or not. 
and I have dropped it and you can see it is working. It has checked my first name and it is now checking my second name. And the third name, is, it is also checking. Now you can see all name is there, pen number is there, uh, pen name is there and you can see valid and operative means uh, here operative word is, it means is your Aadhaar card is linked. If operative word is not there, let's say if only valid word is there, it means your pen is valid, but it is not linked with your dhar. So valid and operative means pen your uh, pen is linked with your dhar. And here is the name, correct name uh, in the income tax portal. Uh, and this is the wrong pen number. And so that's why it is showing not applicable. So that's how you can make your uh, own automation tool using GST, pen, traces, whatever the case may be. Simply a simple prompt is over there and that's it. So this is a simple demonstration uh, or a small demonstration from my side. I think that was quick. Yes. That's nice. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Vikalji. Uh, can we move on with the next participant, CA Preeti Negi? Yes, sir, I will. Uh, Vikal sir, can you stop sharing your screen? Yes, sir. 